Good morning. Today is Thursday, the 21st week in Ordinary Time, and our Mass is offered up for Pamela Cusick. And our saint for today is Saint Monica. Monica was born in Thasgate, North Africa in 331. Her parents arranged her marriage to Patricius. While he was good to her, he was unfaithful, but converted before his death. Their oldest child was Augustine. For the conversion of Augustine, Monica offered many prayers and tears to God, or Augustine. A model mother, Monica nourished her faith with prayer and virtue. She died in 387. Since the days of the early church, people have tried to predict the second coming of Jesus, the day of judgment. There seems to be a human need to know when. But Jesus clearly states in Mark 13, 32, but of that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. In today's gospel, Jesus tells the disciples to stay awake because you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Jesus then tells them a parable about the faithful and prudent servant who is entrusted by his master obediently distributes food at the proper time. When the master returns, Jesus says, he will be pleased to find his servant doing all that he is supposed to do and will be rewarded. By contrast, the wicked servant, noting his master's long delay, falls into sinful behavior, beating fellow servants and eating and drinking with drunkards. When the master returns an unexpected day or an unknown hour, he will punish the wicked servant severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites. If our master were to return today, would he find us living in truth and in spirit, word and in deed as faithful servants? Or would he find us slipping into sin in spiritual complacency? Lord, Help us to be faithful servants. Help us to stay away and not fall asleep in our sin. Help us always to be prepared for our master's return. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we remember uh, Saint Monica, the mother of, uh, of Saint Augustine. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate, let us first pause for a moment to ask for the Lord's pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of her son, Augustine, grant us through the intercession of them both that we can bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sassinus, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus and called to be holy with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge. As a testimony to Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to the fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Praise your name forever, Lord. Every day will I bless you. I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will, I will praise your name forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. I will praise your name forever, Lord. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Please stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the maker of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and let his house not, and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time? Blessed is the servant whom his master in his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is long delayed, and began to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. There are so many ways by which we can uh, reflect on the scripture readings today. Uh, the first one tell telling us that the Lord is never lacking in providing us 
ways and means to be able to get to know him. And in St. Paul, he is saying that these, all these gifts are, are given so that we can be strong in our faith, so that when the Lord comes, we are ready. And so for it is not an issue of, of, of not having any, because there are a lot, and the Lord always offers. But it is an issue about us not recognizing what the Lord has given us and making use of this as an opportunity to grow in our faith, to be able to recognize the giver, to be grateful to the giver, and allow this gift for us to grow in our faith with him. Based from my own personal experience, when I was in the third country, in my own country, the Philippines, there were, there were very scarce resources at church, very scarce. And yet there are so many, many people. In the United States, there is, uh, there is uh, plenty of, of resources here, plenty of opportunities to grow in faith, but very few people at church. I can, we can see in St. Monica a, a woman who probably grew in faith from her own experience of, 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 of a mother who experienced infidelity from her husband and from the sorrow of seeing her son wasting his life. But he made use of whatever resources he had around her to deepen her faith. In fact, her own experience of difficulty was the opportunity, was the gift for her to think about her God, to be strong. And it was her faith that made her strong. It was her faith that she, her, her consistency in, in praying no matter what, it, it seemed like impossible, but yeah, those prayers that made that are also credited for the conversion of, the, of her son, Augustine, who was not just simply converted, but, was even, but even became a saint because of the way he lived his life. He probably also had seen that from the example of her mother, who never, never stopped from praying. And that was the source that was the, st that was the strength that she had in the midst of her storm because she continued to, to pray, because she continued to know and to discover her God in her life. In the same way, too, that we, are, we know we have all the resources. We know that even in the misfortunes and in the challenges of our own, of our own, ex of, of our own time, God has never been lacking in providing us resources to recognize his gift, to give thanks for the gift, and to make use of the gift to grow in faith and in love. Let us approach our merciful Father with trust and faith and offer him our intentions. For the church, may Christ keep watch over her always and make her holy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with leadership, may God give them the grace to see and be thankful for the gifts that is under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel far from God, May he remove every obstacle to their sense of security in him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may the Holy Spirit foster in us a constant desire to follow his promptings in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dead, may they soon enter into the peace of the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for Pamela, Pamela Cusick, whom this Mass is offered for, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all mothers, 
for strength and for faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for the healing of all the sick. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear and answer our prayers which we offer to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all our holy church. O Lord, who gain for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example leads us courage. Their fervor prayers, their fervent prayers, sustain us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bernard, our Bishop, Andrew, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamp of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sin of the world, and grant us peace. Behold the Lamp of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has been offered. Go and continue to proclaim the good news of our salvation. Thanks be to God. And good morning to everyone. Good morning, Father. Let us pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray 
pray for us, O oh, Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, the womb, the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, once made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and his cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain with us always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.